For this production just here, the main character of the piece is a little puppet. I designed the puppet and built it. And then I also created little bits and pieces, um, the fish, little puppet character, and, um, and the costumes. Just here was basically come, came together about an idea of creating theatre for children in transitive spaces. So children who are in foster homes and orphanages in uh, shelters. And the idea of, of exploring those spaces because uh, children's theatre doesn't really go into, into those spaces quite often. So the story that we've created for Just Here is about a little person who is in an hospital and basically is not in a safe space that uh, they understand to be their own and they go on an adventure in their own mind because one understands that the imagination is actually the most powerful place that you can be and it doesn't matter if you're six months or two years old that you're controlling your own thoughts and your own uh, desires within your imagination is in it's, it's like a superpower. So baby theatre is a very, very new thing in this country. It's only been happening for the last maybe four or five years. And in fact, our company and Magnet Theatre, which is actually the company that's hosting us today, um, are sort of two of the very few theatre um, companies in Cape Town producing work for pre-verbal children. So it's, it's quite an oddity and a rarity in this country but it's very popular overseas, especially in places like Europe, where they've been doing it for as long as I've been alive. Um, so, yeah, we, we're just lucky enough to sort of have found a niche which is interesting and unusual, and not many other people are doing what we do. My experience with puppetry is that you, you need to put your focus into what you're working with so that the audience know where to look and where, uh, where to place their focus. So I think that's, that's what we, always work with yeah. Um, yeah to always give who we are or what what we what we are about to the puppet the or to the energy and stuff yes to to that so that that can be real for them yeah. I think what's challenging about building puppets is that every um, puppet every new puppet you start on is a completely different creature there's no set of instructions it really has to be a trial and error process um, which is very daunting but very exciting because my work predominantly involves a lot of problem solving and creativity and kind of making it up as I go along which is fun and also I think what's wonderful about making puppets in particular is that you get to incorporate all kinds of different skills into it so I do woodwork and sculpture and sewing and you know a whole lot of different things now I'm trying to get more into understanding how how machinery and mechanisms work so I can get more complex movements into my puppets.